Hey everybody, I'm Magus X, the Volatile Gamer. I haven't done a tutorial video in a little while, so let's get to it. Today we're going to talk about maximizing and getting more RAM allocation set for your server. Getting the most you can get out of it so you could have it run as possible, as good as possible, uh, that your computer will allow it to. So let's show a few tricks. First we got, of course, a server. You should be familiar with this. This one's a Tegat server. It goes the same uh, for Bucket as well or anything, or even normal, if you could set uh, RAM allocation, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, your first little tool you're going to want to have, and continue to watch even if you already know this, because there's going to be some stuff further ahead in the video that you might not know, is the Task Manager. And it's very important, it's very handy to use. I even recommend that if you're using Windows 7, pin it to your thing, or, or create a shortcut for it. Now, if you're not sure how to get to your Task Manager, you could rather right-click uh, the you know any empty part of your taskbar down here, so where there's no window, right-click, and start task manager or you could press control alt and delete uh, you know holding down at the same time and that'll pop up another window where you can then press uh, open task manager or something and I'll bring it here now if your task manager looks like this then just double left click that's all I'm doing there okay so what you're gonna see here uh, there's two tabs processes performance the most important thing is just check out your performance tab go into free and see how much you have here now uh, you can pretty much ignore the other numbers I mean they are somewhat important but really we're just looking for free this is what your computer is at this very moment able to allocate to your server so uh, we could we're gonna actually show you I'm gonna show you how to increase this number uh, following about two or three different tricks the one trick that is is pretty um, common is always restart your computer before you run your server. If you're playing games or whatever and you shut them off, just because you shut them off uh, doesn't mean that you get all your RAM back until you restart. Like here I have 2800, but I actually have 4400 whenever I just start up and all I have is like just the recorder, you know, like if it was just after restart and I was just recording, I'd probably be at like 35 somewhere, 3500. So always restart your computer first, very important. Then, uh, but we're not done yet. Here's another trick you can do. Uh, one, you could always, you know, go here and shut down processes you don't need, but that's, you know, a little bit more manual. Here's an automatic way to always have more RAM when you turn on your computer. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to close this. Um, and by the way, by RAM, I'm talking about, you know, your good old launch.bat or your batch file where you set the actual RAM amounts into your thing. And, and also, by the way, let's say, for example, your maximum RAM, uh, even after these tricks are done, is 4 gigabytes. Uh, for the extra XMX1, I uh, do your maximum amount as much as you humanly possibly can, or computerly possibly can, whatever. <laughs> and then for your XMS, I'd say put it to about 30% of what are that, whatever that is. And don't forget, the G for gigabytes can also be a capital M for megabytes. So it, you don't have to just go by 1, 2, 3, 4 gigabytes and so on. I could actually have 33, 30% uh, 30 uh, less uh, would be, I don't know, what, like 3350-ish, you know, something like that. You could do that. You want to leave a little bit of leeway. Like you don't have to force your server into maximizing your, your RAM. You could give it enough and then if it needs more it will take the four gigabytes so that's the settings but there's still one more important thing and this is something not a lot of people know about so let's go check that out we're going to open up run and you could do this two different ways if you're using windows 7 you could just search for run if you're using windows xp actually there's three ways if you're using xp it should be right here somewhere or you can uh, click hold the windows key and press r and that'll bring up run. Now you're gonna type in MS config, all one word. MS as in Microsoft, but just abbreviated, you know. So MS config. I already had it there. And this is gonna bring up your system configuration. Now what this is is we're gonna actually set uh, what your computer is going to load when it loads, uh, when it boots, you know, when you restart it or turn it on for the first time, whatever. Now there's gonna be so much junk. If your computer's old, you're gonna have a ton of crap, and you'd be surprised. You don't need almost any. You don't need any of it almost none of it. Now, first things first, don't just stop watching here and say, oh, okay, I'm good, I'm pro, I know what I'm doing. If you've never used this before, you could accidentally uh, shut off your wireless or your Bluetooth or USB, all, all sorts of fun things. So first, we're going to go to the services tab, okay? Now, you could hide all Microsoft services, um, and then what you're going to do from this point is you might want to, you know, just make it bigger so you could actually see all the text if needed. Um, uh, the two important things here is the actual service name and the manufacturer name. Uh, if Now what you're going to do is, is you're going to go down the list here and literally only keep the things that you absolutely need checked. So here like Adobe Acrobat Update Services, you could uncheck that. 
it'll probably run it anyways. And if you want to update it, you will. When you turn it on, it'll check for updates. You don't need to check for updates every time you turn on your goddamn computer if you never use it. You know, same with Adobe Flash Player. Pretty much everything, even Google, uh, Google Update Services. Here, I kept my Bluetooth service, obviously, you know, Bluetooth, audio service. Anything that seems legit and important, you're going to keep. Uh, Matt, she's a good one to keep on. Uh, any sort of Intel stuff, you know, any any sort of hardware manufacturer stuff, you're going to want to keep that on. But everything else, even if it's games like Steam Client, I'm only going to want Steam when I want Steam. I don't need it right away, and it's just going to be using up your RAM that you could be using for your server. Okay, so we're going to do that. So do that with your services, and then also go into your startup tab, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Um, here, there's slightly different. You'll see the same instances, like you'll, let's say, for example, Google Updater could be in services, and it could also be in startup. That's a bad example because it actually isn't, but there are some programs that are in both, so you'll have to disable them on both ends. Now, like I have stuff here, uh, World of Warcraft, Gaming Mouse. Um, I like to keep that on because I use my gaming mouse not just for World of Warcraft, you know, stuff like that. But Java, keep that on. My God, don't shut that off. Hamachi, keep it on. But I could probably shut off just about anything else, which I did, as you can see here, Google Update. Oh, look, it is on that one. HP Quick Launch, I don't need that crap. Power ISO, when I want power. You know, you, you get the point, right? You get the point. So anyways, uh, when it, you're done, click OK. And it's going to prompt you to restart your computer. You can go ahead and do that. Um, there's not much more else you can do. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And uh, there's one quick other thing I guess I could show you if you want to check it out. Just go to uh, your start menu. Right click on computer. Go to properties. And I've showed this before, but I'll show it again. Click on advanced system settings. Okay. And then in here, you're going to see performance, settings again. And then here, go to advance. And then here, you're going to see virtual memory. And then you're going to click change. And now, by default, you should have some, but it's not actually the recommended amount. It never is unless you've changed it before. So make sure you click on your main drive. Usually, it's C, right? I have other crap, but just C, OK? And then you're going to click on custom size down here. You might have to uncheck this first to be able to actually do that. So uncheck this top automatic manage paging file size for all drivers if you need to to be able to actually select things in here and then what you're going to do is in the initial size you're going to set that to whatever the recommended amount is now I don't have that setting mine's higher just for fun you could do it for fun higher too if you want this will actually take up hard drive space so if you don't have it you won't be able to do it um, so only use what you can I don't think setting a ridiculous amount like 60 gigabytes in here will really make that much of a difference but in Cor correlation with the other things that you're doing like MS config it will actually help a little bit so go ahead and set that the maximum size you can set it to like 33 percent more than your recommended size so if, if that was 10,000 set it to like I don't know 13,500 ish whatever okay when you're all done click set okay 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 it might prompt you to restart your computer you could do so as well now when you restart your computer go back to your start manager and hopefully before you've done any of these things kind of see what your actually your actual free ram is and then once you restart see how much it is then you're going to notice you're going to have a lot more now if you're only running two to four gigabytes of ram you know you'll be lucky to see 2500 if you're running two gigabytes you might not even have one gigabyte of ram so if you're running two gigabytes of ram Sorry to say, you probably won't be running the greatest server of all time. It will be laggy, but at least this will help a little bit. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I can't really think. I had a list here, I thought. I'm pretty sure I did everything on the list. Yeah. So once you figure out, you know, what your highest amount of RAM free is once I, you know, restart your computer, you could then go into your actual batch file, your launch.bat or whatever you named it, and you could set that based off your free RAM. Now, me, I only had uh, 1,800. Let's say your free RAM was 5,000, let's say. Then set 5,000 to your XMX, and then set about maybe 4,000 to your XMS, or 4 gigs, 5 gigs, 5,000 megabytes whatever you know you name it however you want whether you, you set this up with gigs as you can see here this one's gigs this one's megabytes doesn't make a difference it works either way so that's pretty much it guys hopefully this was helpful in getting you to maximize your server's ram allocation to provide less lag like it's as simple as that i guess hopefully this was helpful like if it was subscribe if it was check out my other tutorials check out my other let's plays well my actual let's plays i got some minecraft world of warcraft and torchlight and whatever and, and hopefully you enjoy the channel so once again i'm magus x i'm signing off for this time but we'll catch you on the next video sorry guys i haven't been doing as many videos lately but i've been working in real life uh, it sucks but that's 
what I got to do for now. Hopefully one day I can become popular enough on YouTube where that could just supplement my income, uh, which I do need. You know, I have kids. I'm not trying to be greedy with the advertisements and stuff, but I have kids. I got to, you know, bills to pay, you know, just like anybody else that's an adult in this world. So, uh, you know, thanks for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm almost at 1K subs. <laughs> thanks so much for that, too. You know, I plan to grow that even further more, and I hope you stick along for the ride. So, once again, Mag's House. Ma Mag's House? Ma Wow, I'm Magus X, <laughs> the Volatile Gamer, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.